Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back to the another video. In today's video, I want to talk about the ongoing situation of iOS 26 and why we need another update and why it should come ASAP. In this video, I'm going to cover a few topics. I will be talking about a few stuff regarding iOS 18.7 because people are asking me about the iOS 18.7 too. So over here on this device, as you can see, I am running iOS 26 is the latest update. And why I'm saying that we want another update, we want iOS 26.0.1 because there are some issues going on and people are actually complaining about different sort of bugs. So in this video, I want to talk about some of the bugs that I got into. So while I was, you know, making a video, another video, um, day in the life video, and I get into the privacy and security and then I get into the um, general suggestions and my phone completely freeze out. Now, as you can see in this footage over here, my phone is completely frozen. It is not working at all. So that is an issue that is, was like very weird issue and very bad issue. And I really, really want Apple to fix it. For now, it worked properly. But at that time, it was not working. And maybe in future, at some point, it not works. So there is a bug that Apple need to fix. And that is the issue. The another thing that people are very much talking about is definitely the battery draining. So people are complaining about the battery draining. And in one of my previous videos, I also talk about that battery life is not good. Battery is draining a lot. I'm not happy with the battery life. Well, if I get into the battery stats and share what happened today over here, as you can see, uh, today I used around 69% of my device. And for the 69%, I got 3 hours and 30 minutes screen on time. This is a really, really, really bad screen on time. Like if I go four or five days ago, like when I was um, maybe using the um, RC update, this was RC update. 76% is 7 or 33 minutes screen on time. This was the RC update and this is the official update. 69% are just 3 hours and 33 minutes. And during which time I didn't use any crazy app like any social media apps. Simple apps but still battery drop a lot. So still battery drop is going on that Apple need to fix. And actually Apple talk about that in one of their press release. And they say, they talk about the um, iOS 26 update. This is a whole press. You can go and, you know, read it if you want to. And in the performance and battery impact section, they said that um, over here, I don't know where it is. Immediately after completing an update, particularly a major release, you might notice a temporary impact on the battery life and thermal performance. This is normal as your device needs time to complete the setup process in the background, including indexing data, files for search, downloading new assets and updating apps so apple says that this is normal if you're facing a bad battery life because this is a complete new update it's a big update it's one of the biggest update in the last decade and it is you're doing a lot of stuff in the background and for a few days you will notice a bad battery life so based on this article i'm hoping that one day battery will become you know in maybe in a more couple of days battery will become better and definitely i will be making a video about that now i'm using i was 26 from last three days and if i talk about all these three days this was the first day when i used 102 percent means more than 100 percent i got 747 minutes the next day i used around 87 percent and i got 6 hours and 17 minutes and today again as i already show you i'm not happy with the battery life so yeah apple need to fix this and maybe i was a 26.0.1 can be the thing to fix it so maybe we uh, many people are talking about that maybe we can expect that update this week if this update comes, definitely I will be talking about that. I will be making a video regarding um, 26.0.1. But for now, iOS 26 is the latest update. And in terms of battery life, not happy. There are a couple of bugs. But in usage, I haven't faced any you know issue. In usage, performance is nice. You just saw a small lag over here. Usually, it don't lag on the iPhone 16. But today, it did. So, I think it is a public release it's an official update but i don't think it's like an official update but i still want to give it more two days so i will be coming back with another video in which i will be talking about the performance but maybe after a couple of days so that's what that's the whole situation going on with the ios 26 now people were asking me about how the 18.7 is performing out so i want to talk about the 18.7 for a bit so just let me set up my device over here so we can talk about the um 18.7 so on this device, I used 18.7. I'm using it for like two days now, I guess. And if I get over here and get into the let the battery starts load basically. And one thing important that this is um battery life on service. 
it is on a 77% as you can see. And yesterday I used around 76, 78% I guess. And I got 7 hours and 11 minutes screen on time, which is decent, which is nice, which is very much, you know, great. Um, even if I see YouTube, I use YouTube a lot, I use threads a lot, I use different applications and I got really, really good uh, screen on time. You would have directly compare this with the iOS 26, a latest device, much better battery life, getting less than screen on time. So 18.7 seems much, much better. On this day over here, like today, I use around 75%. I got almost five hours of screen on time. I used YouTube a lot then threads and some other applications as you can see. It is still decent because, you know, battery is in service and giving a decent screen on time. So in terms of that, it is going good. In terms of battery life, it is going decently good. And also if I go and show you the um, benchmark score over here, like today it, I ran this benchmark score and I got 1334 on a single core while 3129 on a multi-core. Both scores are higher than the average one. In fact, this multi-core score is way much improved. It is way much improved last than the previous one which is another nice sign. So in terms of performance, I'm not having any sort of issue with the iOS 18.7 and things are working really, really fine. That's a good thing. If I talk about the GPU benchmark and I got 984 um, metal score, which is way, way, way higher than the average one, as you can see. So that is another good sign. So overall, in terms of battery life and performance, 18.7 is a really, really decent update. It is working really good, but definitely we need a lot of improvement with the iOS 26 and maybe maybe iOS 26.0.1 can be answered to that issue but so far what iOS version you guys are using let me know in the comment section below and you know I did a poll today actually I want to share that poll with you guys I did a poll today that with iOS update you guys choose to your choose for your iPhone iOS 26 or iOS 18.7 and so far, there is 86% people are on iOS 26. It is almost like 300 votes. So, which means that more people are interested in the liquid glass than a better battery life, which may be a good sign, but this is what is happening so far. And yeah. Also, if you're not following me on Threads, make sure to follow me over there because I do post a lot of stuff and I do post really, really cool videos and a lot more going on over here. So, make sure to follow me over there. So yeah, this was a small, simple video. If I conclude this video, in, in this video, I talk about why we need 26.0.1. I talk about a bug. I talk about the battery draining and I share what Apple is talking about. And I also talk about how the 18.7 going on so far from like two days. Now, what's your opinion on all that? Let me know in the comment section below. I will be bringing hopefully more videos. Um, I will be talking about more features with the iOS 26, the hidden features and all that in upcoming video. Until then, take care. Peace out.